My film is uh, titled Moon Yans and uh, it's a racial satire. We're satirizing specifically, I guess, cinematic trope of the racist mafia member. My best friend from college, he was watching The Bronx Tale. You know, there's that famous scene where this black kid's riding by in the neighborhood and the protagonist and his crew, you know, start complaining about black people being in the neighborhood and then they beat the kid up. He, he had the idea of satirizing that scene and scenes like it in a short allegory about gentrification. But it was the kind of thing where, because we were satirizing a scene, uh, it could only be made you know, in short form. We had no plans for what to do with this piece, which is, I think, very liberating. Not having the financial constraints of having to have a return on investment or worrying about casting and, you know, whether this actor is bankable, you know, all of those sort of worries that I think can sometimes stifle creativity. Um, we didn't have to worry about any of that. My short film is called Hugh the Hunter. It is a recontextualization of the work of an artist, Hugh Hayden, told in the form of a storybook fable. The tweed of his coat matching precisely the pattern of the heather behind him, fitting into the landscape as had been learned from his forebears, generation to generation. So basically the idea behind the film was we would take the work of an artist and try to take it out of the context of a museum or a gallery space where it's usually viewed and try to show it to a, a different audience in a different way. We never saw it as a feature length project. It was always conceived as a sort and always conceived as kind of like a one-off, like an experiment, not with like, oh, we're gonna make this into a feature or oh, we have an idea of where this is gonna play or we just wanted to introduce these themes in a different way to a different audience, basically. I always struggled with trying to make a narrative short. I felt like all of my shorts were kind of unsuccessful because I was trying to cram so much story into the medium. I ultimately came to realize that for me, as a storyteller, shorts work better when I'm just trying to create a vignette or a moment. I did a feature, and after that I was in this place of like, okay, what am I gonna do? And and so all of last year, I did two shorts, this was one of them. Um, I needed a chance just to just to basically, you know, exp you know, try to figure out what I wanted to say about things, how I was gonna say things. Everything about it was different, uh, and I learned, you know, from that experience greatly. I don't even like the name short versus feature because it, it kind of gives the, there's like a hierarchy or something where it's like a certain film just should be a certain length. Every story has a different length that it should be told in.